Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Spring and today I'm sharing this get it all done, cook and clean with me. I'm also sharing a delicious family favorite lemon chicken recipe made in the Instant Pot. And I absolutely hope that you enjoy this recipe. And if you enjoy watching this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that red button down below. Turn on your bell notifications so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Most of all, if you're needing some cleaning motivation, let's get this all done together. So I'm getting started here in my bedroom. It was in dire need of a deep clean. I mean, it's not super deep clean, but I was needing to dust, vacuum, clean my bedroom, and look at all that dust, oh my gosh. Kind of embarrassed to show this, but this is real life. I just started working full time outside of my home, and this is it is what it is. So I hope that this gives you all the motivation to get your spaces nice and cleaned, reset, and that clean, fresh filling. Now, I am using one of my favorite cleaners. It is the Miss Myers. It is in the lavender scent to dust. I like using this when I'm just cleaning like normal surfaces that aren't wood. It just always gets it nice and clean, nothing harsh, and most of all, leaves my room smelling so, so good. So, as I mentioned, just got started dusting everything off and then I'm gonna move on to just little sections at a time I like to do that it kind of just helps me feel like not overwhelmed seeing the big room the big mess so that's how I get cleaning I hope maybe that may help you to give you some cleaning motivation as well And so once I'm done dusting, I usually like to vacuum just to make sure that I pick up everything up off the floor that may have fallen down from all the dusting I did. And then I'm moving on to my laundry. Guys, I've had this basket of laundry sitting there for probably about two or three days. And so I'm just so glad to be able to get this done today. Now, keep in mind, this is not my day off. It is a day that I went in a little bit later to work. 
but I just had to make the time to get my home cleaned. So again, I hope this gives you some inspiration. If you work outside of the home or even if you don't, taking care of kids is a full-time job. So if you've got to take things in sections, hey, you do what best helps you to get motivated and to get your home clean. Now on to the kitchen. Normally I start in the kitchen first, but on this particular day, I really, really wanted to get my bedroom done. And then also on this day, I also went to the grocery store, so I had groceries to put away. Um, it was just like a few things that we needed to get us through the week. I didn't do like any major or like heavy grocery shopping. Um, so anyway, I'm just starting off with getting all of my groceries put away. Before I had put away the groceries, I had already made my family, my kiddos, some breakfast. And so now, of course, there's the breakfast dishes and a few that were left over from the night before. But um, definitely wanted to get all the groceries put away and cleaned up. But I just love when the kitchen is cleaned. Um, just makes me feel, almost makes me feel like the whole house is clean when the kitchen's clean. It's like having your bed made, even though the rest of it's messy. I don't know if you feel the same way, but that's how I feel about a clean kitchen. I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful So here I am putting away a lot of Mexican candy that I had left over from my daughter's, from our daughter's graduation party. She wanted it fiesta or Mexican themed. We had so much candy left over. My kids weren't really eating it all. So I just kind of separated it out, put some new candy in our candy dish. Um, also, if you didn't see that video, I will link that down below or up in the cards. Um, if you're looking for some fiesta themed party inspiration, be sure to check that video out as well. Say something I don't know. I want to know you better. The way that you talk to me, the way that you make me feel. I don't know if you're real. I want to put you in that spotlight. Looking at you all night. Put you in that spotlight. So as I'm watching this, I just realized that this is my first video that I've made since we finished the making over the rest of our kitchen. And I'm just like, wow, I'm so happy to share this with you. Like the whole time while I knew we were going to be making over the rest of our kitchen, I was like, I can hardly wait to share like cooking cleans with me and have our kitchen all done. And I just realized this. So I'm so happy to share it with you. Also, if you want to see the process that we went through and making over our kitchen, I'll also link those videos in my description box as well so you can watch those. Now, these are concrete countertops. Um, my husband and our sons made these concrete countertops. Some of them are not like matching and you know, that's just the beauty of it. I mean, I don't mind it at all. Um, I really do love it and I love the way our kitchen turned out. I hope that you like it. Um, if you have any questions about like our faucet or our sink, um, we ordered those from Amazon and I will do my best to find those links and link them down below. Um, I really enjoyed looking for like a new faucet, a new sink and um, new garbage disposal. Like we had been without one for a couple of years, you know, um, so it's really nice to have that. And the sink, it has like a cutting board and a strainer. So it's nice when I'm chopping my veggies just to put everything down into the garbage disposal. All the perks that grown women enjoy, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe it's just me. I'm not sure, but I definitely do enjoy that. The 
things that I really do enjoy doing is the maintenance or the upkeep on the sink. Yes, I did say I enjoy it. Um, so what I start off by doing is, as you can see here, I just use some Dawn dish soap, then I sprinkle some baking soda over, then I clean everything really well. Once I'm done scrubbing my sink out, I will then spray it with vinegar. I have some vinegar in a spray bottle and then I rinse that off. That definitely helps to keep any like hard water stains off, which we have hard water here. So I do definitely have to remind my kids when it's their night to spray the sink down with vinegar, then wipe it down. Um, it does definitely help keep those stains off. So it's just a little tip in case if you have hard water, that definitely helps as well. So now that I've loaded up our dishwasher, washed my dishes, I am now just hand drying a few that I wash by hand. I am very particular with some of my dishes. I don't like loading up my wooden spoons or knives that have wooden handles in the dishwasher, even some of my pots and pans. I just feel like the hard water really dries out my um, wooden utensils and even my pots and pans. I feel like it just, I don't like the way it leaves them. So I prefer to wash those by hand. So while I was out grocery shopping um, on that morning, I saw a new cleaner by the Clorox Centivia and I think it was like a passion fruit um, is what it was. It had like grapefruit in it. So I thought I'd try it and it does smell good. However, me personally, I prefer the same one like by the same brand, but it's called Happy Day. I really, really love that one. But sometimes I just feel like using cleaners with different scents in them. I don't know for whatever reason it just like makes me extra happy while I'm cleaning <laughs> but um, this scent smells good I just prefer the happy day one much better than this one Once I'm done cleaning off like all the grime, not grime, but it's more like grease from like cooking bacon or eggs for breakfast, I, whatever it is, if it, whatever meal it is, once I'm done giving it a good deep clean, I like to use my stainless steel cleaner. I buy these in a four pack from Sam's Club. Definitely goes a long way for us being that we basically cook three times a day on our stove, um, in our refrigerator, like hundreds of times a day I want to say literally just we have such a large family but anyway um, I love to give our appliances a good wipe down with the stainless steel cleaner I just feel like I don't have to clean it as often I mean of course I do this once a week but I'm saying like I don't have to do it two or three times a week once I give it a good clean down with the stainless steel cleaner
So another thing that I had to do is of course clean out the little spillover container in the refrigerator and also my oil jars that I keep next to my stove for cooking. Those needed to be refilled and I use one for normal cooking oil and then the other one I have olive oil in it. These jars I did buy from Target. They were through the hearth and hand section and I think I bought them like earlier in the year. I did have one of my viewers ask where I bought them from and they are from the hearth and hand. Um, they were really inexpensive and I absolutely love them. Like I was looking for something like this um, so I can keep next to my stove. So that is just what I'm doing, just refilling my oil bottles and of course again wiping down my sink. You know, I think that's like non-stop with moms, with big families or just in general having kids at home. And then I also cleaned out my butter dish. The butter was all done and my spoon rest. That butter dish I bought from Ross, it was on clearance for like $5 or less. And my spoon rest, I really like that. It's a dark gray. I bought that from Target as well. Now moving on to putting away my groceries. I had already put away like my meats and other things that definitely needed to be put in the refrigerator, but this is mostly like what belongs in my pantry and of course like bread, you know, snacks for my kids and whatnot. Um, I definitely need to go through my pantry again. This is something that I have to do on a weekly basis. I don't get it done every single week, but I really do need to go through there again. Um, we actually have a coat closet to the right of that that we made into a pantry. We, it was just like a makeshift pantry. We added in some shelves because we did some jarring, um, but we also did need more pantry space. So we have that. And as I mentioned, I'm just putting away the rest of my groceries, fruits and whatnot. While at the grocery store, of course, there's the big bins of watermelons and we love watermelon, especially in the summer. It's just always so refreshing. And when I cut this one open, I saw how red it was and juicy. I was just like, oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good once it's been sitting in the refrigerator. But while cutting this, you know, to put it in pieces for my family, I couldn't resist. I had to get a few pieces here and there, but it was absolutely delicious. Like this watermelon went within like the first day well actually half of it got eaten within the first day and then um so i used two containers to put the pieces of watermelon in um one of the containers went in our refrigerator here in our kitchen the other container went in our refrigerator in the garage we have like our overflow of stuff that goes in there and as soon as i took that one out of the garage again my kids my family just devoured the watermelon it was just so delicious but anyway um yeah i just got that as a refreshing snack for my family to enjoy during this hot desert weather. All right, so now moving on to the Instant Pot Lemon Chicken. This recipe is so amazing. I will definitely have this recipe linked down below. I actually get a lot of recipes from Pinterest. I have a Pinterest board as well, and I will put this recipe under um, recipes for my friends now aside from the chicken I'm also making some calabacitas this is just some Mexican squash I saute those with some onion and then I add in some tomato sauce corn and cheese and it is absolutely amazing super simple um, I made this within about 30 minutes before I had to leave for work 
I knew I was going to be getting home a little late, so I wanted to be sure that my family had dinner once they got home from work and whatnot. So as I mentioned, this is just super quick, but a very delicious dinner for your family. So this recipe calls for chicken breast, chicken broth, fresh lemons, lemon juice, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, onions, and garlic. Very simple ingredients, nothing difficult. Again, I will have this recipe linked down in my description box below. Moving on to the next day, I did not get everything done that I wanted to before I went to work the previous day. So I like to get my morning started off by watering my plants, sweeping off my front porch. Living in the desert, we do get some monsoon, monsoon storms, so we get a lot of leaves and dirt on our porch, so I like to sweep that off. I don't do this every single day, but when I do get the opportunity, I definitely like to make sure that our front porch is nice and clean, being that it is the first impression you get while coming into our home. Um, from here, I will move to our back porch and I'm watering our plants there as well. And um, I'm just enjoying it. I love hearing the birds, so I hope that you enjoy hearing the birds along with me as well. These hedge bushes such as the lantana and then the bougainvillea plant are some of my absolute favorite and I'm just giving you an overview of our fig tree. It has grown so big over the last three to four years. We absolutely love fig jam. We've made it ourselves and canned it. We also have our pomegranate tree which our kids absolutely love as well. Hey guys, good morning. It is the next day in this get it all done, clean with me. I just wanted to say hi. I'm so happy to be making this video and sharing it with you, a real life of a full-time working mom and what I'm getting done. Um, so first thing I do is I get started. If I have the chance, not every time, is I go out and I water my, my plants in the front in the backyard. 
Um, the next thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna paint some buckets or like big containers that I bought months back at work. They were on clearance and I want to put them up on one of my nichos or like a, it's not a landing, but I'll show you where I'm gonna put them at or where I want to put them at. I'm not a fan of galvanized like tin, but I did like these and I wanted to paint them white. So let me show you what they look so like. So these are the tins that I bought from work. This one was $9.99 and then this one. And this one was $7.49, so I really like the pair and the way they look. I just, um, as I mentioned, not a fan of the galvanized um, tin, so I'm gonna tape up the rope around them, paint them white, and I wanna put them right there. That's my plan. I don't know if they'll look good there or not. If not, I can always put them up over here, but we shall see what I end up doing just had these for quite some time been procrastinating putting it off so I want to get this done before it gets any hotter outside and try to get some shade while I'm painting these and so the paint I'm going to use is the rust-oleum these are two different paints um ones of yeah they're both paint and primers semi-gloss and then I have my handy dandy little tool here to help spray that my fingers hurt after a while so I'm gonna get painting that here And I am just prepping my buckets to paint them. Um, of course, as you can see, I was just using painter's tape and then I got a wire brush and I just went around the galvanized tin. Oh my gosh, that was so painful to hear the wire brush scratching up on the galvanized tin. But um, I think I only gave these about two coats. They came out super nice. However, I think I am gonna buy some chalk paint to go over the parts of the tin that kind of stick out a little bit. Um, just to give it more of a rustic look. Um, so now moving on, I'm cleaning my guest bathroom, just showing you what it looked like. It wasn't too bad, but I just wanted to clean it. I really like to just get that clean, fresh feeling and just clean my house. Just makes me feel so refreshed and clean <laughs> along with my house. But um, I usually start off by filling up my soap dispenser, taking everything out moving on to the toilet first and then um, move on to the sink. This is the first time you all are seeing my bathroom in full um, redone. So this started out with my daughter taking off the wallpaper and laying down new flooring. And I had shown this on my stories a couple months back on my Instagram. Um, you can follow it, it's the same as my YouTube page. It's uh, Spring Soulful Home on Instagram. You'll get a little bit more updates on there aside from YouTube. But um, then again, we just continued on with the concrete countertops, used the same tile that we did in our kitchen. And then the faucet, oh my gosh, I fell in love with it when I saw it on Amazon. So we got the faucet and the sink on Amazon. The um, cabinet, I just used the same spray paint that I used for the galvanized tins on there. My husband actually suggested for me to do that and it actually worked really well. I was a little bit hesitant of it but it worked really well. The hardware, we bought it at Home Depot, same hardware that we have in our kitchen. And the new toilet, we bought that, it was either Home Depot or Lowe's, I can't remember. And this super cute mirror I bought from work at Hobby Lobby um, when they had it 50% off. So it was like, I don't know, less than $30. And then the pictures I bought from Hobby Lobby as well. Um, so I really love the French country look that I'm going for here. Um, I'm definitely gonna continue that on throughout the rest of the home because I absolutely love the way everything came out in there.
All right, and while I'm waiting for my floor to dry, I am taking out all of my towels, such as my bath towels, kitchen towels, and cleaning towels, and throwing in another load of laundry into the dryer. So now on to another load of laundry, just another thing that I get to mark off my checklist of to do before I head into work today. And now that I'm all done folding the towels, I am putting everything back in my bathroom, putting away my toilet brush, and also putting away all our hand towels. And I'm just sorting out here the hand towels that got put in here that actually belong in our bathroom upstairs. That way we have more Give room down love. here under Give the sink. All your love, all cause I want you. So now I am moving on to our front room. I'm vacuuming and dusting everything here. Um, I was just so excited to be able to vacuum and mop and dust. It had been a while and as I mentioned before, it just makes me feel so good knowing that I'm able to clean my home. Our children do help with these chores as well, but it just always makes me feel just so good knowing that I am actually cleaning my home and doing it myself as well. So as I mentioned, I'm just cleaning everything off. My window sills, our entryway table, and my front door it tends to get a little bit grimy. Um, sometimes like our kids are working outside or maybe on their cars, so they tend to leave fingerprints. Even though they're all adults, I still have our children's fingerprints um, on doors and stair rails, especially the stair rail. I actually want to sand this down and repaint it. It just really needs it after all the wiping down of the stair rail with all the harsh cleaners and then moving into our other entryway table just going to give everything a good dusting and cleaning and then I'm actually taking some of the decor off which has felt a little cluttered so I am just putting in some of the decor and then taking some of it out as well.
And so now I'm just moving into our sitting room. I love this room. The chair in the corner is my favorite corner. I sit there, I pray, I drink my coffee, I look out the window to our backyard, and so many of my thoughts, prayers, tears, happiness have been sitting there in that chair. But um, anyway, moving on to like the decor here, um, I do plan on doing a few different things. I have a friend at work who she is an interior designer as well, and um, I just always like to ask her questions or her thoughts on the decor here. So I do plan on adding some curtains and just changing up some of the decor there. Um, I definitely love to add in a rug. I just haven't found the one that I absolutely love yet. So usually when I'm hesitant like that, it's because I haven't found something that I absolutely love and want to add into our home. But moving on to the cleaning, just dusting everything off, cleaning everything with the Miss Myers cleaner. And it just felt so good to give everything a good cleaning, just get all the dust off, all the cobwebs, not literal cobwebs, but I don't know, I just think of that, like just dust everything off, give everything such a, a really good cleaning and just enjoy the nice fresh clean space and oh my goodness that dust on there was so bad so, so glad that I was able to clean this and enjoy cleaning my home Alright guys, I thank you so much for joining me in today's video. It has been my pleasure to put this video together to give you the motivation as well because I know if I need it, being a mom, working outside of the home, being a wife, a mother, a homemaker, you know, just there's just times when we can just be an example by not speaking but just by the things that we do. Although I'm not perfect, I know none of us are, we all you know may not have the perfect home or many other perfect things but just know that deep inside your heart you are a perfect human being i know sometimes we can't see that but just remember that's how god sees us and just when you clean your home i hope that you clean it with joy and love so your family can enjoy it and again i truly enjoy having you all here if you liked what you saw today be sure to give me a thumbs up hit like and remember to subscribe we'll see you again friends bye bye